Hello, friends. Happy Wednesday. Ah, what a week it's been. <laughs> Hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. I had a very, very nice, quiet, but nice Christmas. Uh, had to cancel the uh, Friday live stream just prior to Christmas, and my apologies for that. And uh, wasn't going to do anything until this Friday, but I thought, well, let me pop on and do a little ramble today and uh, explain what happened on Friday. I mean, I explained it. I, if you haven't seen, I've, I've put out my annual Christmas blog post, which, uh, boy, I really should do more than one blog post a year, but <laughs> that's what it's come to, and uh, explained what happened. But uh, basically, the virus finally caught up with me. So I was, um, I was feeling fine, you know, and then Thursday night... I started to feel a little like scratchy throat kind of thing. I thought, ah, that's not good. Uh, but I just figured it was a cold coming on or something. Uh, woke up Friday, felt kind of chilly, um, feverish, took my temperature. I did have a fever. Uh, cold symptoms were developing, like congestion and, and all that. And I was talking to my wife, and she said, "Oh, you better, you better take a COVID test. You better take it. I've never taken one. I swore I'd never would take one." You know. Um, and I said, "What? What? This difference does it make? You know, I've, I've got. They've got a ridiculously high false positive rate. So if it's positive, I'm not going to believe it. If it's negative, you're not going to believe it. So, <laughs> what difference does it make?" Um, but what ultimately convinced me to do it was that I had visited some folks in the days prior, which would have matched up pretty well with the time that I would have had to have picked this up, if it were actually the, the ick. And uh, I wanted, you know, some of them were less, um, how shall I put this, at a higher risk than I was. So I thought I'd better inform them so that they can watch out for symptoms if it does in fact turn out. So I, I took the test, then it was positive. Great. So then my wife says, well, you know, you better get the, uh, the oral medications because, you know, this can go downhill fast. So, well, it doesn't really feel like it's going to go downhill fast. I, but okay, I called the doctor and the doctor said, well, you know, you're, you're a candidate based on your age and everything. And, uh, I can prescribe them, but honestly, the adverse effects are pretty terrible, and most people can't tolerate them. And I said, oh, <laughs> well, I don't feel that bad now. <laughs> and, you know, we talked about the symptoms, and, and you know, the adverse effects are, are really quite awful. I mean, and, and after all that, they're not deadly or anything, but you're sick. You're really sick. And then you have to take it for five days, and then after that, you can have a rebound of the original uh, symptoms that are worse than what you started with. And I said, why in the world would I want that? <laughs> so the doctor said, well, look, I'm going to send the prescription in any way. You go get the pills and just have them available. You have until this day to start them if you need them, just in case. And I said, okay, that, that's reasonable. So I went and I got them, and they're still sealed in the box I haven't touched them uh, so Friday into Saturday I was not feeling great you know it was chills fever Sunday the fever broke but I still wasn't feeling quite normal but you know essentially other than the fever and some headaches this has been a head cold and uh, yesterday, Monday, no, Tuesday. Monday I was I was feeling close to normal. I was about ninety percent. Tuesday I'm I'm back to normal. And you know today's Wednesday and I'm I'm just fine. So, you know, I don't know what I had. I honestly don't know, and it doesn't matter. The fact is I survived it, and. Uh, You know, labeling something doesn't necessarily help you, I guess is the point. Sometimes labeling something hurts you. 
but we'll leave it at that. Uh, oh, by the way, I have, uh, this is my shop Orlick uh, pipe here. It's a nice pipe. It's only a shop pipe because I tend to smoke it down here, but the stem has got some horrible oxidation on it. I spilled some alcohol on it or something, and I really have to clean that up. Anyway, uh, I am smoking St. Bruno Ready Rubbed, and uh, I opened this up as a Christmas holiday blend, and it's, it's filling the bill. I'm getting some really nice deep tones from this. It's it's definitely got some some burly and dark friared kind of depth to it. And there's something in the topping that works with that. It's almost like a almost like a molasses note to it. But there is this floral perfumey after shavy kind of edge to it that I do not like. And it's a shame, because if it wasn't for that, this would be really nice. And it's not the floral essence, it's the, it's this, you know, all I can say is it's, it's like a, a, a an aftershave kind of, uh, I don't even know what the right word is for it. It's like you're stuck in an elevator with somebody that wears so much aftershave that you can taste it. Yeah. Oh, I hate when that happens. It's worse when it's perfume. I, I just... Yeah, I just don't like it. It's too much for me. I'm, I'm, I'm easily over uh, powered by sensory input, and smell is one of the ones that just, you know, can. So much so that I've learned to not smell. Um, like, we'll be out somewhere, and there'll be like a really strong odor of something or the other, and my wife will say, Oh, do you smell that? And I'll have to actively try to smell it because I, I've develop the ability to just not, I don't know how it works. I breathe through my nose, but I'm just not processing it unless I actively go, oh yeah. Uh, Cause I, I do not like strong, strong smell, strong lights. I don't like any strong sensory input. You mean a dark room? <laughs> just enough light to read by, I'll be a happy man. I'd like it to be warm. Not hot, just just warm. Maybe maybe a cool dark room with a nice sweater. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm obviously rambling now. So Christmas was nice. I mean, I was not feeling great, so I didn't like cook anything or anything like that. But you know, just me and the dogs. Um, the wife is coming back. Uh, probably tomorrow. Probably. Well, she might come back today, but I haven't heard from her yet, so I doubt she will come back today. Uh, so it, it, it's almost definitely tomorrow. So that's a good thing. She was going to come back Tuesday, yesterday. But then she heard I was sick, and she said, oh, no. <laughs> She's so funny. And, uh, you know, who wants to get sick? I, I get it, but... She called me last night and she said, would you mind getting the Lysol wipes out and sanitizing all the doorknobs and, and uh, faucet handles and everything that you touch? <laughs> no, dear, I'll do that for you. <laughs> uh, God love her. And I've been working on a, a gift for her which I had hoped to have done earlier, but I got sick. So I got to get to work on that. Um, got a couple other gifts that I have to wrap still. 
So she better not come back today, otherwise I'm going to have to have a fury of rapping today. I was hoping to do it tomorrow morning, after I finish this one. Can't show it to you because she might watch this, but... I'll let you know what it is, after she knows what it is. Yeah, I wish I could recommend the St. Bruno's. It's um, it's got a lot of good qualities, and I guess if you're if you're like me, a guy that doesn't know if he's gonna like a Lakeland or not, and maybe this isn't even considered a Lakeland. I don't know. It's got some Lakeland-like qualities to it, I would say, but I'm not a Lakeland expert, of course. I guess I'd say it's worth a try, but uh, it'll take me quite a while to get through this uh, pouch, which I have transferred to a jar. I did rehydrate it a bit too, just a little bit. Uh, yeah, that'll that'll take me a couple of years to finish. Occasional treat. Probably best smoked slowly and enjoyed. It doesn't retro how well. Ah. Oh, the nice thing, by the way, about the virus that I had is that it, it left my sense of smell and taste intact. So that was awfully nice of it. Uh, so I was able to continue to enjoy Haunted Bookshop throughout. That made life a little bit better. All right, folks, I've probably taken up enough of your uh, your Wednesday at this point. So I just wanted to let you know that I am alive. I will see you on Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we're going to do, I think that's New Year's Eve Eve, so we'll do a New Year's Eve Eve show. I don't know what that is. Maybe we'll drop a ball. <laughs> see if I can rig something up and drop a ball. Oh, goodness. Y'all take care, and I look forward to seeing you again real soon. Bye now. Mm -hmm.